just because we don't have enough problems in the world, uh, the Chinese have decided to start a new one. Now, of course, they will claim it is Japan's fault, but mm, that's a tough argument to make in this case. There are these islands called the Senkakus Islands, and they are somewhere between Japan and Taiwan. In fact, we can show you right here on the map. Um, and they seem to be somewhat closer to Japan, but much more importantly, Japan, uh, they were privately owned and in Japanese hands for a very long time. In fact, Japan points to a 1969 map from China that labels them the Senkaku Islands, thereby acknowledging that it's Japanese. Now, the Japanese recently bought it from those private hands and say it's part of the Japanese government now, but now the Chinese are upset and say no. They, in fact, they have spent, sent six ships over there, uh, and that is not a good sign. Uh, they, uh, and these ships are armed. Now, it's not to say that they're going to go take over the island, but what they're doing is they're testing them, saying, hey, you know what, we're coming, and we're starting to flex our muscles here, and you better not mess with us. That happened on Friday. And then on Monday, they had a, a whole flotilla of fishing ch uh, ships from China go over near the islands and cross over uh, the water that appears to be the territorial uh, claims of Japan. And now people in Japan, uh, in China, I should say, are incredibly uh, angry about this, and they say, "Oh no, no, these are our islands, and they have these signs that pro protest: kill all Japanese, fight to the death." Uh, that doesn't sound good. And one sign urged a nuclear strike against Japan. That's not cool. Look, none of this is cool. Uh, it's obviously China flexing their muscle, and there is long resentment, let's say, at the very least, certainly bad feelings between uh, China and Japan for what Japan did, uh, not just during uh, World War II, but before that as well. Japan dominated the area and clearly had some war crimes that happened there and did not acknowledge those for a long, long time, so I understand why the Chinese are upset, but trying to create this kind of conflict is not the right way to go about it and the world's got enough trouble and then when our defense secretary Leon Panetta was asked about it he said we stand by our treaty obligations meaning don't mess with Japan we are allies and we have to defend them and we will defend them oh for Christ's sake can you imagine if China and Japan get into an actual military conflict and then we gotta go side with Japan and we're in a military conflict with China in the middle of the rest of this mess? I can't think of a worse idea. But that's exactly why China is flexing their muscle now. They think, what are you going to do about it, tough guy? It's not the right way to go. And let's hope it, they stop this nonsense and they're just testing people. But if they actually go to take the islands, we're going to have terrible, terrible trouble.